Today on the show, we're going to be taking a look at X-Force number 8, the first appearance of the Wild Pack, which would be later known as Six Pack. So stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to Comigan TV, where all geek culture collides. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. All right, guys, as I said, today we're taking a look at X-Force number 8, first appearance of Wild Pack, which would be later known as Six Pack. This is one of the comics I got at the old book barn uh, in a in comic book hall number one right here on the channel. Uh, I just got done reading this and I actually wasn't aware when I got this that it was the first appearance of the Wild Pack. Uh, so that was a nice surprise. For those of you who don't know, the Wild Pack is a mercenary force formed by Cable. It's a mix between mutants and super soldiers, for lack of a better term. Uh, not official super soldiers, but really, really good soldiers. Uh, you got Domino, you got Kane. Kane is the youngest member of the group. This is before he became a member of the second Weapon X project. This is also before he lost his arms. Uh, you got Grizzly here, you got GW Bridge, uh, and there are a couple others I believe. It could be wrong. GW Bridge, I don't believe is a mutant. Uh, same with uh, Kane, I don't believe. Uh, I could be wrong, but again, uh, they're just mainly soldiers. In fact, GW Bridge went on to become Major at S.H.I.E.L.D. and led the Cable Task Force to track down and bring in Cable. Uh, and also took over his space base. Kane eventually, after he lost his arms and got him replaced with adamantium ones, he began, he also led the team to track down Cable and bring him in. Eventually, all three guys made amends with each other. And we actually start off with the ending of the issue. Uh, you got Sauron here and his Brotherhood of Evil Mutants uh, attacking... And Sauron just absorbed all of Cannonball's life force or energy. Um, and Boom Boom, Boomer, I, I'm not sure, I can't remember if she goes by Boom Boom or Boomer in this issue, but that's besides the point. She's trying to get Sam to wake up. Sauron saying Sam is dead. Sam is can Cannonball. Uh, and Cable is just ready to attack. Then we go to a flashback. Okay, so the deal with Sam and Boom Boom and Sauron and Cable, that takes place in the present. This part takes place in the past, the, a day earlier or so. Uh, it's the introduction of the Wild Pack. You got Domino, you got GW Bridge, you got Cable, you got um, Grizzly. Uh, and they're attacking a Hydra base. They were hired by by an organization to um, steal back something that Hydra had stolen from them. And, you know, they, they cause a lot of destruction. They, they managed to get in while Kane and Hammer, which is this guy, came in from the other side. And then you got, the, they're, they're almost able to get that piece that they came for when Baron Von Stryker, a uh, video of him comes on and tells them, you know, uh, normally, I would tell you you got five minutes before this place blows up, but actually you got 20 seconds. Uh, Hammer, uh, about that time, uh, uh, obtains the piece they came for, and Cable activates a body slide to get him out of there. And this is when we find out they were actually hired by AIM, Advanced Idea Mechanics, to steal back a piece that actually doesn't really function, but they wanted, they made it just good enough to see, knowing that Hydra would steal from them, to see how far along Hydra was in their device or whatever. So then the uh, Wild Pack goes on their merry way, and Cable leaves, saying, you know, um, Kane asks them how they'll get in touch with me, and he says, same way that, you know, you do all, any other time, I'll be in touch with you. So. He creates a body slide and goes back to his own time where his robots named Scott, Gene, and Hank are, you know, taking his armor, body armor off and all that. And he talks with a computer program of the professor, Professor Xavier. And he tracks down someone who's supposed to be a very powerful being in his timeline 
Sam, which is actually Cannonball. And that's when he goes back in time to track down Cannonball uh, six months to a year before Sam becomes this uh, super being or whatever, this overlord type deal. And I think that's the time, I, I think this kind of, we flash back again to the present day where we pick up where we left off with Cable, Boom Boom, Cyborg, and Cannonball. But I think this is when he went back right at New Mutants number 100, right before he formed X-Force. But we pick up in present day. So with that being said, here we have some Cable pinups, which Marvel and Image were very notorious for back in the 90s. We got uh, a Cable collection by Rob Liefeld. For those of you who don't know, Rob Liefeld is kind of the joke of the comic book industry. He is the one who drew Captain America pretty much with breasts. <laughs> a super huge body and a tiny head. Uh, but I have to say, there were a lot. There was a lot of really good artwork from Liefeld. Liefeld. Uh, he's the one who designed a lot of the look we come to associate with several of the characters today, uh, like Cable, for instance. He 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 really created that look for Cable that we associate uh, from X Force. Um, here's another one from Liefeld. He is a really great artist, but he tends to make characters super, super muscular and not very proportionate. As you can see here, uh, this cable, he's very big and bulky, um, which if he was sh shirtless, he wouldn't look that great at all. Uh, his head isn't very proportionate to the rest of his body. And then we got some cable grams. So there you have it, guys. X-Force number eight, Turning Point, Cable, past, present, and future. The first appearance of the Wild Pack, which would later be known as the Six Pack. So if you like this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. I'm Shannon for Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, my friends.